Hey y'all, Arjun here from wizards.exe, and in this video, we're gonna go over how to configure and program the Rev Robotics 2 meter distance sensor. And so, if you wanna learn how to wire it, make sure you take a look at our sensor wiring video. But I'm going to start off by going to the configure robot menu. But actually, before that, I have a few things to say about the 2 meter distance sensor. One thing about the 2 meter distance sensor is it cannot consistently see clear things due to the fact that how it works. So sometimes you will be able to see clear things, sometimes you won't. And this is because how it works is it shines a bright light, or not a bright light, it shines a light, and then waits for how long it will take for it to come back to. And it times that, and so it's called a time of flight sensor. So because of this, the light will sometimes go right through anything that's clear. So you shouldn't you should make sure that you're not trying to shine it as clear things as that might not be the most consistent use. So we're going to go to the configure robot menu. I'm going to edit a configuration. So the 2 meter distance sensor is connected to an I squared C port, meaning that it that's where it connects. And there are four of these ports on the Rev control hub and expansion hub. 0, 1, 2, and 3. So what's really special about I squared, I squared C is the fact that it's called, um, you can have multiple buses. So each of those ports on the control hub and expansion hub represent an I squared C bus. And you can connect multiple I squared C sensors to a single I squared C bus. On port I, bus zero of the rev control hub and expansion hub, there is an IMU, which is essentially like an, a rotation sensor, an angle sensor. So I just decided to use bus one to keep it simple. I'm going to hit add, and then it gives you a port, and I'm going to choose rev two meter distance sensor. I'm going to name it distance for now. And then you don't, you can click done, done, and back out of the configuration. And that's how you configure the two meter distance sensor. Now I'm going to go to the program and manage menu. Uh, I have to wait for the, the, it to restart the robot, but let's see. So you can see now it's just finished restarting the robot. I can go to program and manage and go to blocks. For this program, what I wanted to do is I just wanted to return telemetry of the distances it is seeing. As this is this two meter distance sensor can have very large values and very small ones, so it's not really easy to use it to control a servo or something. It's more practical to use it for sensor uses or use it in if else statements, which you can take a look at our tutorial on that if you want to learn more about that. I'm gonna call this time, I'm gonna call it two meter distance sensor test. Okay. So you can see that I have successfully created a op mode, a program. And so now I want to have a telemetry block. So I'm going to go to utilities, telemetry, and I'm going to just drag and add data block. So the time of flight sensor is going to be under sensor, sensors. It's called, it's under distance sensor. And there's one function, it's called distance dot get distance distance unit. And so you can change the unit. So you can go centimeters, inches, meters, and millimeters. I'm going to keep it in centimeters for now. So now I'm just going to call it distance. I'm going to change the key to distance cm. And so that's how you um, actually program sensor and get input is you use that block right there. I'm going to save this op mode and show you it working with the telemetry just to show you how it works. Now I have my fire tablet open, I'm going to open this up and I'm going to choose 2 meter distance sensor test. I'm going to hit in it and play. So now you can see that it's giving me a good um, distance. So as I move this, you can see that there's actually a distance on the screen and it's fairly accurate in centimeters so I know I'm getting off camera a little bit but it's it's working really well one thing to note about this sensor is that there's a green light on the top of it when it's working so that's that's really nice about it is it tells you when it's working so this this sensor can be really useful for um say, uh, detecting the distance from a wall or doing something automatic, detecting the height of a lift, 
or anything like that. For example, last year, I know Team USA 2018 had a function that would use a, this sensor to automatically back up a certain distance from a wall. And that's a little bit more complex to make, but for, you could, for example, make it so that your lift goes down or a flap opens as soon as you're in range of a wall. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and comment or email wizards.exe at gmail.com with any questions. Thank you.